Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Jimmy, wanted to model a couple of these con skills that you have tonight for markup and commission word problems. Let's take a look at the first one here. I believe we did this the other day in class, but just a refresher. We see that, and again, I, I apologize for mispronouncing this name. I think it's Umema. Umemi. Umema earns a base salary of two hundred dollars every week. So I know that no matter what, this young lady is going to get two hundred dollars every week with an additional 9% commission on everything she sells. So she's gonna get 9% of whatever she sells for that week. Now she sold $2,750 worth of items last week. What was her total salary? First thing I know is she's gonna get $200 no matter what she does. If she sells nothing, she gets $200. If she sells a whole bunch of stuff, she gets an additional $200. What I need to find out is 9% of whatever she sold for the company. She can't make all the money, so she's going to get a portion of what she sold for the company because the company needs money too. So she gets this commission. Now let's multiply this. Now again, you can use your calculator. I'm going to do it longhand here the old-fashioned way. 9 times 0 is 0. 9 times 5 is 45. I'll regroup the four tens. 9 times 7 is 63 plus 4 is 67. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 6 gives me 24. Now, that looks pretty odd. She made $24,750, but I have to remember that there's a decimal point here. I'll move over once, twice, so two to the right, or two to the left, I'm sorry. There's nothing up here, so one, two. So she made $247.50 in commission last week. Now, remember what I said. She gets $200 no matter what she does. So we're going to add that $200 to the money she makes off commission for the week. And it looks like she came home last week with $447.50 just by adding her commission, I'm sorry, her base salary to what she made on commission, the 9% of the $2,750, and she's going to make $447.50. Excellent. Okay, Vanessa works at a nearby electronics store. She makes a commission of 6%. And everything she sells. If she sells a camera for $599, how much is Vanessa making commission? Now, here they're not telling us what she makes for a salary. So I'm not worried about her weekly salary in this problem. I'm just worried about what she's making on commission. So we know she sold a camera that's almost $600. And we're going to find out what's 6% of that. Well, I know 10% will be $59. So I'm going to use that as my ballpark and say, well, I know she's making less than, than roughly 60 bucks. Now, if I take half of that, that gives me $30. She's making a little bit more than $30 commission off this $600 account. So let's take a look if I'm right. So I go 9 times 6 gives me 54. I go 9 times 6 again gives me 54 plus the 5. 54 plus 5, I think it's 59. And then I root my 5 tens up here. I have 9 times 6, or sorry, 5 times 6. I use that 9 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 5 gives me 35. Now, don't forget these, this decimal point down here, two places over, some over two places to the left. I believe Vanessa is going to make $35.95. Now, based on my estimate, that sounds about right. All right. Okay. You may works at a nearby electronics store. Oh, she must work at the same one. She makes a commission of 10%. Maybe she's working there a little bit longer, a little bit better salesperson, so she's going to get a higher commission. And everything she sells. If she sells a computer for $825, how much money does she make in commission? Now, this one's a little easier, but I'll still do the math behind it. I know that to find 10% of any number, it's kind of like our powers of 10. I move that decimal one place to the left. Well, here, let's just prove it, though. I'm going to take $825. I don't need the two zeros, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to times that by 10%. Now, I'm actually do the 10% like this. I'll just bring the zero right down. Five times one is... 5, 2 times 1 is 2, 8 times 1 is 8. Move my decimal once, twice, so $82.50. Okay, let's take a look at one other one here. The manager of Tiffany's Furniture Store is trying to figure out how much to charge for a sofa that just arrived. If the sofa was bought at a wholesale price of $125 and Tiffany's Furniture Store marks up all furniture by 45%, at what price should the manager sell the sofa? So the sofa was bought wholesale for $125. So what that means is they bought it from somebody, some company that sells all, they just sell furniture. 
Now, in order for Tiffany's to make a profit, they have to sell it for more than what they purchased it for. So they're going to mark it up 45%. Now, what do I need to do here? What price did the manager... So I have to figure out 45% of 125? Let's take a look. So I do 125 times 45%. Let's see if this is right. That's 25. That's 10 plus 2 is 12. That's 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Okay, I'm done with this 5, so I'm going to cross it out. Put a 0 to hold the place value, and I'll multiply 4 times 5 is 20. That's how I keep that 2 up there still. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Okay, then what's there? 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And let's add this. 5, 2, 6, 5. Now, it doesn't make sense. I'm going to sell for $5,625. Move decimal one, two places to the left. Does that make sense for sale for $56.25? No, they're marking it up. So that means I'm going to add that to the original price that they bought from the wholesaler. So $125 plus, I'm going to line up my decimals here, $56.25. So let's take a look at what we get here when we add these. That is five. That is 2. Bring my decimal down. 5 plus 6 is 11. 5 plus 2 is 7. Plus 1 is 8. 1. So are they going to sell it for $181.25? Let's take a look. Hey, I'm right. Well, I hope that kind of helps you out with how to solve these problems. They're not too bad. Now, the other way I can solve this one with Tiffany's and I could actually do it in one step. Now, I know that they, they bought it for $125. That's what Tiffany bought it, or whatever the manager bought it for. And they paid 100% of that price. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to tack on, they're going to add on another 45% more. So really what they're selling it to you or I for is the 100% that they bought it for plus an additional 45%. So they're actually selling it for 145% above what they bought it for. So I could take uh, or I could take 125 and times it by 145% or 1 in 45 hundreds. Now, if you want to do this with your calculator, you can. That's 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 5 times 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Cross out the 5. I need to hold, I need to hold that place value of the 0. 4 times 5, 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Okay, I'm done with this 4, so I'll now put 2 zeros as a whole place value. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 1 is oh, it's 1. Let's see if I have this right here. That's 5. Oh, that's 2. Let me see how it's right over here. 5, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 7, 8, and 1. Move the decimal over twice. Look at that. Same answers I have up here. So that is another way to approach this problem. Okay, hope this helps. Take care.